Hello and so welcome back everyone, Anth Wolf here with even more Star Wars The Old Republic. Playing as Caiaphas Kane here, and where we last left off, we had finished the major storyline so far in the Legacy of the Sith expansion. Indeed, we are here on the world of Ord Mantell, and we managed to push away the Separatists and the Hidden Chain. Unfortunately, it seems they may have succeeded in their endeavours, escaping with some skilled technicians for whatever plan Hedda Cole has. Seemingly, Darth Null's holocron gives advice on how to build a machine whose ability we don't know. All we know is it's potentially a super weapon, one that, well, we probably wouldn't like to see completed. But we are here, in a sense, mopping up, tidying up, tidying up the end of this series by looking at what else the game has to offer. As such, we're still here at Kensin's Landing. Or Kessin's Landing where we are able to aid the people here via the mission board, if we so wish. And once again, it seems, yeah, we have various daily quests, a few heroics, a heroic fall mission as well. And we even have a quest to defeat the Freedom Propaganda Droid, which is the world boss here. Oh. A cache of rewards containing tech fragments, reputation, or the Mantillion Hover Turret Mount. Oh, it's a bit of RNG as to what your rewards might be. We could certainly look into maybe doing the heroic missions. Yeah, why not? We'll look at the heroic missions, if nothing else. We still need to look into... ...a bit of research relating to the creation, creation of a shielding unit. We need the schematics. It seems that that terminal was protected by security. Which means we need to head over to a security mainframe. We know is somewhere in the subterranean power station. And then we would be heading over to the overrun volcanology lab for the heroic missions. Very well. I suppose if nothing else... Searchy, 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 searchy. Where is Arn at the moment? Arn, where are you hiding? Is he even someone we can summon to aid us? Hmm, maybe not. Interesting. I thought Arn would have been someone we would have been able to summon as a companion. Very well. Well, if nothing else... I've got your back. Eric, you know Ord Mantell very well. Why don't you come along? Why don't we clear the heroic mission? And then we'll head up to this the claim the shielding technology. So what do these heroics have to offer us? Zav Rips have taken advantage of the local militia's preoccupation. If left unchecked, the Zav Rips will claim the entire island. We must also retrieve a DNA sample 
from the Savric War Chief for study. And while we're there... Geologists running a local volcanology survey were driven from their laboratory. Without monitoring local volcanic activity, there is no way to warn the population of an impending disaster. Activate the peripheral evaluation system in the lab and gather readings on the current state of the volcano. Wish I knew where the Vornells ended up. Their crops are going sour. It's not like them to leave credits on the table. Mm, we have a lady looking for attention here as well. I have a feeling there is a circular area of flat terrain just to the south of our position where maybe, just maybe, the location of that propaganda droid is located. If I'm correct, and I could be wrong, very easily, it would just be up here. the DNA sample we needed. He actually triggered my life warden. We can hear some heavy walking in the distance. Yeah, okay, this platform looks like it would lead to the world boss. This is truly oh that's a that was the wrong button. This is truly an an end game heroic. And we aren't I mean we're reasonably geared, but we could actually be much better geared for where we are. Stand by for examination and suggested products. 
you know, we need to also pop our... We can pop our unity and heroic moment if needs be. But these sav rips are definitely deadly. these mountain crag savrips and a champion. I don't really want to deal with a war chief, but no matter. Yes, 
the volcanic evaluation system. Because we need a sensor array repair kit first. Fuel the generators. And by the time we do that, these enemies, the war chief, and his group will have respawned, no doubt. South Rifts have certainly got a hell of a lot more deadly. And restart the generator system. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of.
hell. Now we need to transmit the survey results. Where do we transmit those? That is indeed a good question. Anywhere. Tell you what, let's get ourselves back over to our deck point. Yeah, the last time we fought Savrix was, well, back over just outside of Fort Garnick. Well, outside of Oridan Village. And they were a hell of a lot easier, that's for sure. Let's do the citizens of Kesson's Landing a favor and get that shielding technology. So still some hidden chain forces here. A banana. Somewhere down here, there is a security mainframe. Someone else is around here somewhere. Interesting. And they are not a Republic aligned player. I would see them on my hood here. The mainframe is not here, though. I hear gunfire nearby. Oh. 
<laughs> they know I'm here. Targeted my companion first. fell. But so be it. Good to have a laugh now and again. Would this get us? It would get us back into the power station because we still need to find that mainframe. There a main frame here. I cannot see one. Ah. Ah. We could go deal with them. As our shadow. Our shadow would have a hell of a lot of an Oh, okay. It was here, just... a way to bypass the security. Biometric scan complete. Employee record not found. Picked up an empty security combination key. Seems to be missing three data sticks. Search the mainframe area for clues. Oh. I think Heck is the only security officer who still has an access data stick. The Mandos have been real aggressive about getting into the systems. Getting a little tired of them pushing us around. 
So there is someone who has an active data stick. We know their name. Are there any other similar data pads? Oh, there's an access card over there. You're done. The worn access card. seem like there's anything else we're looking for one of the hidden chain They talked about someone chewing on the power cables earlier, didn't they? Okay, there's water data sticks there. So we have one of three. Let's have a quick look at that data pad again. Who's the only security officer?
is now sending me out to another region. If I want more of these data sticks. of a town. Oh, here's the world boss. Is it? Well, here's the propaganda droid anyway. hope you don't have what I seek. Because that would suck. Unfortunately, I was hoping against hope it might actually be inside this building since I saw the building was accessible. I might need to look at a quest log for some useful hints and tips. It doesn't look like there's anything we can interact with. If nothing else, could I? I'll look at this a little later. I suppose if nothing else, we can go find a curator. Apparently they are somewhere over in the Bustol family. Curator's uniform. Sorry, the not curator, the courier's uniform, I should say. Yes, sir. 
I'm gone. Earlier than expected. Excellent. You'll be getting a good review from me. Excellent. Hey, a miniature basilisk droid. Well, it's wonderful to see couriers who take shipment time seriously, especially with valuable items such as this. What was the name of your courier service again? Excellent. Yes, you'll be receiving a stellar review once I examine the merchandise. Hand over the eye. I must inspect it for damages. Ah, yes. Excellent. I... Wait. The eye of G0T0 doesn't have three compressor valves. It only has two. This is a forgery! Imposter! Droids! Restrain this charlatan! Uh oh. Taking oh. the shot. We're <laughs> doing the smack. With our courier glove. Oh. And an enterprising kick. Oh, I see. So some of these attacks work on certain droids. Wait, please, no more. These droids are my life. I'll, I'll give you anything to stop. Uh, basilisk droids, uh, of course. Magnificent war droids, ridden into battle by the Mandalorian Crusaders. I've never seen one in person. They are extremely rare. One would be quite a find. Worthy of my collection, but I've never seen one for sale. Why are you interested in basilisk droids? Ah, oh, we'll be honest. An intact basilisk droid? Would they be willing to, uh... No, no, not the time. You're in luck. I have one of the most complete collections of droid schematics in the known galaxy. This is embarrassing. I... I am one of the galaxy's leading droid experts. I have carefully curated records from all corners of the galaxy. But I... Ah... Uh, seem to have no records for basilisk droids. <laughs> if I haven't found the information, then it most likely doesn't exist. Uh, unless... There is another legendary droid, the HK-24 unit. It was infamous for taking down hundreds of basilisk droids. I've longed to add one to my collection, but regrettably most were destroyed. They were deemed too dangerous for civilians. If you can find one, its memory core would be guaranteed to have the information you're looking for. My informants tell me one of the last known HK-24 units is secured away in a high-security cell on Belsavis. You are clearly a force to be reckoned with, and with my connections, we can pull this off... together. If I provide you with a borrowed security clearance, you can clear the defenses leading to the HK unit's cell, where the droid's memory core will be ripe for the taking. You can plug that memory core into any droid chassis, and it should give you the information you need. All I ask in return is that you leave the chassis of the HK droid behind. I employ a service that will retrieve it from my collection.
Though I sincerely doubt the droid is functional anymore. It'll be like removing a, a, a hollow disk from a terminal. I'll transmit the security clearances once you land on Belsavis. I'm looking forward to finally adding an HK unit to my prestigious collection. If it's all the same to you, I'll stay here until you leave. Please be careful on your way out. A HK-24 unit. One that is seemingly capable of dealing with basilisk droids. Having intrusive thoughts. I mean, he's not looking. He's really not looking. Oh! Oh. I just kind of wanted to take it. Getting antsy. Did you talk to the curator? Did he know anything about the basilisk droids? An HK-24? Are you serious? You want to talk rare. HK-24 units are practically non-existent nowadays. The HK-24 units killed a lot of my people during the Mandalorian Wars. And they destroyed a lot of our droids. I guess it makes sense that they'd have schematics for their targets. This thing could have a detailed record of how our little friend works. It might take some convincing, but the information it contains is worth the risk. It's got to be in a high security prison for a reason, so letting it out is going to be dangerous. But we don't have much of a choice, so I'll do what I can to help you from here. Once you reach the security terminal in the prison, contact me. I'll do what I can to make sure you don't get stuck in there yourself. Yeah, that would be appreciated. And onwards to Belsavis. Why did the Republic restrain and secure one of its own assassin droids? I mean, apart from the fact that it's an assassin droid. And the Republic now apparently looks down on those sorts of things. Good luck. So, where are we heading? Ah, oh, in the high security, that makes sense. And it's actually here at the Republic Detention Center. Huh. Well, that's very convenient. Greetings. You are cleared for the following travel routes. Be safe out there. Again, I wonder how you would access HK-24 Cell as a player of the Empire.
I'm patched in. Hmm. I'm not seeing the HK droid in the cell the curator marked. Maybe, but I don't know why it would have been. For now, let's assume the HK unit is still somewhere in the high security ward. We just need to pinpoint where. Good plan. Once you slice into the station, I should be able to find out where they moved the HK unit. Here's hoping it's still in one piece. Okay, you have to do a bit of homework. We're heading back out, and yeah, there is a monitoring station nearby. to slice into the monitoring station, retrieve any stolen override code, and override the station terminals. <laughs> Take those cards. 
codes, thank you very much. Codes. I'm in. I'm seeing a lot of movement in the high security section from the riots. Prisoner transfers, retransfers. Harchuk! All the droid records are using an old serialized system. I have no data to tell me which is which. I need you to acquire some serial keys from the forces nearby. I just need a few to be able to patch the data together. Okay, acquire the serial keys. Who has these keys? Imperials have got their hands on them. Guess that would make sense as an Imperial player should be asking you to deal with the security forces. Now we must enter the Omega Security Elevator.
actually open for us. I wonder if that wasn't a door up until recently. And they've added this as a new area. Oh, that's a lot of mail. Probably from the events of the storyline 7.4. Kuyusa Ulatuva, Chihalukta Chabad E. Gafsta Undale. Lucha E. Tuta Mishka, Kusnuma Mi Bunawa Twipi. Stock up. This is the special security wing. And we're now in control of a mouse droid. We need to find a way into HK24's cell. Pilot debris right here. Oh, this is not the cell, but while they're investigating, the prison warden's terminal springs to lie. cell we were meant to open then. No, that's still sealed. Yeah, okay, it's open now. Oh, well that looks promising, doesn't it? But we're not going to be able to get in this event. How do I access? I need to get behind. works. Ah, oh, there's a HK unit. Ow! system here. I need to find where that pipe system is going. Uh, 
I need to stop the venting. How do we do that? Oh, we trapped him in there. I wonder if I could... This may be a silly idea. stuff I could blow up. Okay, that barrier's still down. Will these turrets shoot me? The answer is no. None of you care if I shoot you. Fire risk detected. Trying to solve a puzzle without all the pieces in front of me. Right, so this gets us back in this room. Ha <laughs> ha 
happening here, so we can't access that doorway anymore. We can close... This closing crash. Open and close various doors. So access denied. Just disconnect for a moment. And have a look around ourselves. Can't open this doorway. did manage hmm and we can't open this door because it says access denied Am I missing?
I really don't know. Let me have a look here. I hate to have to do this. I'd like to try and solve it myself, but... I am... Finding myself... People have also had this issue. Some people have reset the quest and attacked the guard, which apparently has resolved the situation, but someone has also noticed, yeah, you can build pressure. We can figure this out, apart from just accidentally stumbling. Apart from accidentally stumbling upon these vents, I thought you would have to destroy the pipe system. Well, there you go. HK24. Let us return to Lane Vizsla first. And then we'll have a look at that codex entry, shall we? Were you able to find the HK unit? Was it intact? Excellent! Now let's see that memory core. This is incredible! An actual intact HK-24 memory core! Ah, oh, it's a shame we couldn't get the whole droid. I can't power up the memory core on its own. Hmm, maybe I could plug it into this old astromech. Just... Give me a minute. This shouldn't take long. Worst case scenario, it's full of old tactical data. Best case, we find layout schematics, engineering blueprints, or... Exclamation! What is happening? What am I? What am I doing? What am I doing? Hey, hey, take it easy, buddy. Assessment! Weapons malfunction! Movement malfunction! Conclusion. Irreparable damage inflicted. Warning. Self-destruct protocol commencing in three, two, one. Hypothesis. Self-destruct capabilities appear to be offline. Directive. Destroy basilisk droids. Oh no you don't! Well, one step forward, two steps back, huh? Still, I'd like it to not try and destroy the thing I'm trying to save. I'm not sure what I can adjust to make it not freak out like that. And I don't want to risk damaging the memory core. Maybe the curator could help us find a way to... calm it down, somehow? And honestly, he owes us. Take the droid to the curator, see what he can do with it. I'll work on a containment procedure here, just in case. God damn it. I guess you're coming with us then.
Back to Old Mantel we go. Hello again! I can't thank you enough for helping me obtain this excellent addition to my gallery. It really adds an air of... Wait, what is that? Is that the droid you chose for the HK's memory core? I didn't think you'd be foolish enough to put it in an astromech, honestly! Oh, it's highly unconventional, but... I think I could put together a restraining bolt for this, uh, combination. Then it should comply to your requests. If you wouldn't mind, I'll need a few materials from my secure storage units. You'll find them buried outside. In the meantime, I'll need to reinstall the HK memory core into its original chassis to make some modifications. It's the only way to successfully access its heuristic processor. Should be a fairly simple process. I have a feeling I'm gonna come back, and your neck is going to be snapped. Oh, don't worry, I'm not gonna power it on. It'll be purely for diagnostic purposes. Now hurry! The sooner you collect those parts for me, the sooner you can remove your droid abomination from this hallowed gallery. Yeah, I'm gonna come back and you're going to be dead. We need to find a heuristic calibrator, a fusion welder, and a Dura Steel connector. And the lengths we go to to try and get this basilisk wardroid functional. Buried one of your defense droids outside. Oh, Christ. Ah, uh, making more friends.
<laughs> uh, placing bets. How alive is the curator? Someone's outside. I don't know what happened. It, 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 it just powered itself on! Request. Remove yourself from the secure location so that I may complete my mission. It's trying to kill me! Do something! But please be careful! It may be a killing machine, but it's a priceless antique! Why did you leave it armed, by the way? Thank the stars. The chassis is still mostly intact. Nothing a servo driver can't fix. It was hardly my fault. The HK schematics failed to mention the reserve power supply. I blame the manufacturer for this oversight. But seeing as you saved my life, and the HK chassis is still in relatively good condition, I can whip up that restraining bolt for you. The first step, of course, will be removing this memory core as soon as possible. And... there. That should do it. Very unconventional, but it's the best work I could do under the circumstances. I would appreciate you not turning it on until you leave the premises. This murderous memory core seems to not like me very much. And no offense taken, a little quiet and order in my sanctum is more than needed right now. You have given me quite a bit of excitement and a crown jewel to my collection. I do value my privacy, however. If you keep my secret, I'll keep yours. A basilisk droid is quite valuable. I hope you know what you're doing. It would be a shame to lose such a prize to careless hands. Now, if you don't mind, I have my restoration work cut out for me. Lovely. And back to Lane Vesla we go. More intrusive faults. Guessing. I mean, I could be wrong, but yeah, there was someone around here. There are. There is a second Republic-aligned player around. This doesn't necessarily mean it has to be a the Republic player, of course. Either way, back to Runic we travel. Let's see if this HK-24, in its new chrome body, will be more restrained and helpful. Hopefully more helpful. So, uh, how'd it go? Greetings. I am HK-24, happy to serve pending nation. I will not resign myself to correction. I will 
assist in the repair, destruction of basilisk droids. Analysis. Basilisk droid parts require objection. Revealing classified files is forbidden. Procurement and synthesis. Assessment. Processing. Well, at least it's not trying to murder us anymore. It'll take time, but I think we can get some useful information out of this droid. Oh, and something else I wasn't expecting. The curator contacted me directly. He wants to sponsor the repairs of the Basilisk droid. I just hope he can keep this quiet. I bet he'll think twice before breaking a deal with you. Thank you again for all your help. You've already done so much for the Basilisk droids. And for me. It's a long road ahead, but it'll be worth it in the end. I promise. Beginning the restoration. Now, I think... I mean, apart from the daily missions... That's... Kind of it. For this series, I have a feeling. I'm going to log out quickly and then log back in to see if there is a quest update with Lane Vizsla. As that has happened previously. No, no, that is actually... That's... That's it. Apart from working on gaining more reputation with the people of Kesson's Landing... Until 7.5, that's everything. We've come to the end of our journey. We will look at our mail, of course. Is it from Arn, of course? I just stepped out of a briefing, or debriefing, with Master Nostaral and General Day Rune. Not surprisingly, they both sang your praises for how you handled the Ord Mantellian situation. When they did, I gently reminded them that we should have handled things better. We couldn't have made it seem like you're not. We shouldn't have made it seem like you're not trusted. We count on you a lot, and I don't want anyone taking your generosity for granted. There is a lot of concern about what else the hidden chain has in the works. I told Deiruna Master Nostaral about Sahar, but neither of them have a lot of confidence in her plan. Their doubt probably doesn't matter. I'm sure she only wants to work with you. And I hope you know what... I hope you know that when that happens, I will have your back. We have a request from Jakaya. I owe you an apology. My actions were not those of a trusted ally or of a Mandalorian. Ras informed me that you are now aware of the situation with Mandalore. I wanted to share this news with you in person, but apparently he did not agree with the way I would have preferred to handle the matter. I have yet to make contact with Mandalore. I know that I shouldn't worry. I sincerely doubt she is in any danger. But my gut is telling me that this is different than the other times she was tracking down Heta. There is a reason for her silence. I will keep this information quiet. My responsibilities as Arbiter keep the others from raising suspicions. I would never demand anything from you, but I must ask. Please keep this information to yourself. And of course, we have a contact from his brother, Raz. Look at you putting down one of Hedda's most important minions like it was nothing. We need to throw you at more of our problems more often. The chatter around the clans is changing temperature because of this. Jakai has been monitoring a lot of it mostly to keep track of who's thinking about switching sides. But all anyone's talking about now is how much of an idiot Tyrus must have been for thinking he could defeat you. Yours is the side to be on. 
Now that people are waking up to the fact that Hedda's inner circle is full of dots, I bet we can stop the bleeding. Whoever was going to take off already did. Hopefully we don't need to worry about anyone else or losing anyone else. And then a message from Master Salderon. I heard you are the one to thank for delivering our newest guest to the SIS. It has been quite some time since we had any, ma any Mandalorians on our bad side. Questioning him will be an interesting exercise. You made the right decision in handing him over. At this moment that your Mandalorian allies, with your help, I am certain are deterring the hidden chain insurgents from unleashing wanton destruction across the galaxy. Unfortunately, we know Tyrus Broken Blade of Clan Varad was not kept fully in the loop of Hedda's plans. Ah, <sighs> The one thing I'm considering what Shea Vizsla is up to. I believe she has shed her armor. This is what I think. I think she's shed her armor of Mandalore. And is wearing the armor of one of the hidden chain. Trying to get close to Heta. To stab her once again with her knife. That is what I think. I don't know. That would be my guess and the reason for her silence. But either way, we won't find out until 7.5. And by that point in time... Maybe, just maybe, our bounty hunter will have reached that point in the storyline. Either way, our journey with Caiaphas Kane comes to an end. When 7.5 finally rolls around, whenever that may be, I may return to this series and continue. This is the furthest I've ever gotten with any of my characters so far. And it's the first time... The furthest I've ever gotten with a Republic character as well. But. <sighs> I can breathe again. <laughs> We've got to the end of a series, which means I can now dedicate more time to other series. But. For our time here as my Jedi Knight. It's hard for me to put into words. I'm feeling relief. <laughs> because I can now put more time into other series. But no, I've enjoyed this journey. And thank you sincerely for anyone who has gotten this far. As always, before I start rambling, because I'm prone to do that. Before I ramble, thank you sincerely for joining me on this journey here with Caiaphas Kane, my Jedi Knight. As always, feel free to leave a comment if you so wish. And I hopefully shall see you in other series here in Star Wars The Old Republic or in other video games going into the future once again. Thank you for joining me. And even if we get no further with Caiaphas Kane, thank you for getting this far with me on this journey. And hopefully I'll see you for more going into the future. Until then, though, take care. Bye-bye now.